Okay, the last model I wanted to show you is a building. So we'll build the Eiffel Tower and we'll do a very simple version of it. Scale this up. Show our wireframe on shaded. And uh, we're gonna build this version of the Eiffel Tower in different pieces. So we'll build this first part here like so. I'm gonna use all the same methods previously used. So we'll, this will be the base of the bottom section. I wanna teach you about a new way to snap and that's called vert snapping. If I hold the V key, if I move this over to one of the vertices, it's gonna to snap to this other model. Just like a snapping worked holding V, excuse, excuse me, holding X or holding J. And I'll just insert an edge, just like so. And this is just gonna be a very simple version of it. Face mode again, and I will extrude, make a selection, extrude, scale, and extrude again. Shoot a few more times just for the top. And hit R to scale. Insert a few edge loops. Grow my selection. Here we have a simple version of the tower. Now for the legs, I'm gonna build these all out separately. Well, first, let me just fix this up a little bit more. Okay, now for the legs, what I'm gonna do, is I'm just gonna create a cube, like just like this, and I'm gonna to go to face mode and my components, I'm going to extrude. And extrude one more time. And I'm going to hold the V key and snap to that vertice right there. And then continue to scale and manipulate this item. So I'm gonna show you a way to move what do you see? I'm going to model with this, but I'm going to move this center point by holding the D key, D as in dog, and V together at the same time. I'm going to move this manipulator handle to this vert. Then I'm going to release those and hold V again and snap this over to the tower. You can see that nice, now it looks nice and clean and even. I'm going to go back through and use my insert edge loop tool. and manipulate this leg, scale it down a little bit. And I'm gonna keep it simple, I'm not gonna add any more geometry. Go to object mode. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move the center point of this object. So I'm gonna do that by holding, again, D, and then V at the same time. Excuse me, this I'm gonna hit D and X. I'm gonna snap this to the grid right here. This is the center point of the object. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Command D, duplicate this object, and then rotate it around. And I'll just go to my channel box, rotate this 90 degrees, and then select this object right here and duplicate it, rotate it 180 degrees, and then select the object again and duplicate it, rotate it, this time 270 degrees. And there is a basic simple version of the Eiffel Tower. Now what I'm going to do now is just scale these just a little bit. Uh, one little trick, when you're scaling something and you get this sort of look, it's because 
they have different translations now. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to hit Command G or Control G on the PC and group these and shrink it just a little bit. Looks like for both of these I'm going to do 0.9 and 0.9 in my channel box. And I have a pretty decent looking tower.